It's number three on Spice Girls Week by Gary Spice, the lovely commenter who yeah. sent in the list. It got so many likes that it got sent into the poll on our live stream. The live viewers voted on the poll, and Spice Girls Week 1 is here. And here it is. No, 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 Spice Girls Week 1, as in victorious. Yes, yes, and it's here. Yeah. And it's here. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's here now. We're, we've made it to Spice Girls. So congratulations, Gary Spice. We got Who Do You Think You Are? about these outfits what style is there a name for the style because it seemed pretty iconic for the era yeah I like agree. especially these like kind of latex or plastic or whatever they are uh, it's like post 80s like it's like, it's like an a extension. 90s thing yeah it's like an extension of the 80s fashion just like 90s version right I guess. I don't know. But like I, I've seen obviously this in a lot of things. Like Romy and Michelle dress like this and Romy and Michelle's that high school 80s. reunion. That was nineties. That was like nineteen ninety seven. No, no, no. At their high school. But they went to school in the 80s. They oh, went, you mean at their reunion? At their reunion, uh, yeah. Okay. And then, like, or the women in, like, uh, Night at the Roxbury. They dress like this, too. Oh, yeah. This kind of, like, almost reflective cocktail dress style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know if this has a name. Me too. I want to know. Yeah. I'm just curious uh, about it. Also, this is like some like new wave disco kind of like how yeah. 90s house music almost. Kind of. Yeah. It does sound a little bit more disco-y to me. And I just got to say, the 90s EDM. Scary Spice in the beginning, her outfit, she is really doing it for me here. Look at this out. Look at the, the necklace and like the spin. Yeah. That is a great shot. She got a tongue ring. When did tongue rings become a thing? 90s for sure. Wait, hold on. This outfit? I think I'm in love, Joe. Yeah. You uh, should be. Tongue rings? I yeah, when did say... tongue rings become a thing? It seems like a 90s thing. Yeah, it was probably like, uh, I'm just guessing. You can roast me in the comments. It's okay. Um, Don't worry. I'm going to guess... Just based off of what I know about humans and culture. Okay. I would say... <laughs> what, are you an anthropologist? <laughs> yeah. I'm what an do you know? Um, I'm going to guess that tongue rings kind of started in the 80s in like an underground... Like, like the punk scene, maybe? Maybe like punk and goth. And then slowly became more mainstream in the early to mid 90s. All right. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to guess. All right. Uh, anyone that was alive as an adult person in those, in probably in the 80s and 90s, tell us the first time you saw a person with a tongue ring. Yeah. And was it weird or was it cool? I mean, by the time we were in high school, so yeah. many kids had tongue rings. Yeah. Like yeah. in, like, not four, even in high school, but like 15 year old like, kids had tongue rings. Yeah. Like when we were, by, by 2001, the pop punk scene was pretty covered with tongue rings. Oh, yeah. Lip rings. So, and all lip that. rings, tongue rings, stuff like that. So I just want to know where. What crew really started deciding to pierce their tongues? Yeah. You've got the bugs, the sky, you've been better. Your trunk is blowing for far too long. Climbing the snake up the ladder, but you're wrong. Do you think you are? Do you think you are? I said, I hope. Shake 
That Man, beat. that that co- that of course was long at the end there. Very long. That bass line was ripping. It was ripping. Oh, I I just remembered. There's the other song. Um, I I think there was some sort of uh, and may, I, I'm assuming anyone alive in this era could probably give me a better. Uh, could probably know more about this, but it seems like there was a period in the '90s that really brought back a lot of disco feeling. Oh, this is yeah. the one saying, "Don't stop the feeling, don't stop, don't stop the feeling." Dun, dun. Everybody, oh yeah, do then do you not? And uh, that song is a '90s song. Ring my bell, Boo. ring my bell. Boo. Ring. That but was they, very. Disco. But like, as much as they're yeah, like, disco had it was new wave disco. Yeah, there was the resurgence of disco sounds yeah. in the uh, in the '90s, right? Right. So that would that just makes sense that you know anyone would. And I would like I would say especially in Europe, yeah, Europeans have always loved like the four on the floor dance beats. Like I remember for yeah. for a long time, EDM was not widely listened to or even like a point of interest for most of the US and then it blew up in the early 2010s. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but yeah. in Europe it was still power and through. Well, they still it, loved it. Oh, absolutely. There. Like in the 90s it was in the 90s there was like there was the club scene, I think. It was the club scene and they had those 90s dance this songs. Is the rhythm of the night. Yeah, yeah, and all those songs which are not like this. This is more this actually disco. has some sounds in it that are similar to that, but it is more disco. The main difference to me is like it seems like a live drum kit with like hi hats and cymbals and a real bass guitar. Yeah. Whereas like those those EDM songs are like all electronic and yeah, yeah. outside of maybe the piano. And there's yeah, always right. a ripping piano yeah, in those yeah. songs. Um but yeah, yeah, and then in the 2000s in the United States, in my experience, and what seemed to be the mainstream was pretty much just hip hop, R and B would be the dance music, and then a lot of kind of like pop punk and and you know in the late 2000s there were a lot of those just like like painful love ballad songs. Yeah, I mean in. in pop music you had Adele, right, and then uh, then you in the indie folk scene was blowing up with like that's right oh. There we go, home, home era. And the Lumineers. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. The Hey Ho era. Uh, hey. Oh, yeah. I love oh, the Hey Ho. Uh, Mumford and Sons. That's correct. Anyways, uh, yeah, so Spice Girls, apparently they do it all. I know. And I don't know what if there's like chronological order, because sometimes people put their lists in chronological order. No clue. Could be. That is correct. But... Oh, because I have I've never heard it. all the first three songs here. I've never heard. I would also like to point out that when we were talking about the tongue rings, I imagine there were some ancient forms of tongue piercings. Yeah, probably. So I okay. If that's if that's your answer, then great. But no, we mean the we modern mean a modern era of tongue piercings in the in Western the world. Western world because we all know so. that like. People in the 1800s, early 1900s, in our country at least, or probably in England, did not have tongue piercings. And if they did, I would really like to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be. Like, very was there an era of like 1950s teens just like getting tongue piercings? Like to <laughs> yeah. me, that is wild. And if that was the case, I feel like that's something I would should know. So I'd like to know that. Yeah. Drop that knowledge in the chat. Hell yeah. 